A beginner's guide. Art has been a part of human civilization for centuries. It has been used to express emotions, tell stories, and even convey political messages. But did you know that art can also be a great investment? Investing in art can be a lucrative venture, but it can also be intimidating for beginners. In this video, we will guide you through the basics of investing in art. We will cover everything from the different types of art to invest in, to how to buy and sell art, and even how to protect your investment. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of the art market and be able to make informed decisions when it comes to investing in art. So, let's get started on our journey to becoming art investors. Before you start investing in art, it's important to understand the different types of art that are available in the market. The two main categories of art are fine art and decorative art. Fine art includes paintings, sculptures, and drawings that are created for aesthetic purposes. Decorative art, on the other hand, includes items such as furniture, ceramics, and glassware that are created for functional purposes but are also considered to be works of art. Within these categories, there are also different mediums of art to consider, such as photography, prints, and mixed media. Another important factor to consider is the era or style of the art. Some investors prefer to focus on contemporary art, while others may prefer to invest in classic or traditional pieces. Ultimately, the type of art you choose to invest in will depend on your personal preferences and investment goals. In the next segment, we will discuss how to determine the value of art and what factors to consider when making an investment. When it comes to investing in art, determining the value of a piece is crucial. The value of art is determined by a variety of factors, including the artist, the rarity of the piece, and the condition of the artwork. The condition of the artwork is particularly important, as any damage or restoration can significantly affect its value. Another important factor to consider is the authenticity of the artwork. It's essential to ensure that the piece is genuine and has a certificate of authenticity. The artist's reputation and the demand for their work can also affect the value of the artwork. Auctions are a popular way to buy and sell art, and the prices realized at auctions can be a good indicator of the value of a piece. However, it's important to do your research and seek the advice of experts before making any investment decisions. In the next segment, we will discuss how to buy and sell art and the different avenues available to investors. There are several avenues available for buying and selling art, including galleries, auctions, and online marketplaces. Galleries are a popular option for buying art, as they often have a wide selection of pieces and knowledgeable staff who can provide guidance. Auctions can also be a good option, as they provide an opportunity to purchase rare or unique pieces. Online marketplaces have become increasingly popular in recent years, providing investors with access to a global art market. When buying art, it's important to do your research and seek the advice of experts to ensure that you are making an informed decision. When selling art, it's important to consider the timing of the sale and the demand for the piece. Auctions can be a good option for selling art, as they provide exposure to a wide range of potential buyers. Online marketplaces can also be a good option, as they provide access to a global market of potential buyers. In the next segment, we will discuss how to protect your investment in art and ensure that it retains its value over time. When investing in art, it's important to take steps to protect your investment and ensure that it retains its value over time. One of the most important steps you can take is to ensure that the artwork is properly cared for and maintained. This includes keeping the artwork in a stable environment, protecting it from sunlight and humidity, and avoiding any damage or restoration that could affect its value. It's also important to ensure that the artwork has a certificate of authenticity and that its provenance is well documented. Investing in art insurance can also provide peace of mind and protect your investment in the event of damage or theft. Finally, it's important to stay informed about the art market and any trends or changes that could affect the value of your investment. By taking these steps and staying informed, you can protect your investment in art and ensure that it retains its value over time. We hope that this beginner's guide to investing in art has been helpful and informative. Remember to do your research, seek the advice of experts, and take steps to protect your investment. Thank you for watching, and happy investing!